Good evening, everybody. I'm Size Eyes Meteorologist AJ Rickman, and I'm going to be here to give you guys a look at your national and Iowa weather for the week. So as we take a look at our national headlines for the week, uh, we have had a great warm week across much of the country. Winter, for the time being, is still taking a hiatus. I would still call it a full spring. Uh, it's a little rainy in the northwest, and other than that, it's pretty quiet across the country weather-wise. But we're looking at a storm system that might be coming, that will be coming across the country this weekend. There's a look at our current satellite and radar. You can see the ridge of high pressure that's dominating much of the country across, uh, all the way from the southeast across the middle of the country, even off into the Rockies. We've got some low-pressure systems that are kind of riding along the American-Canadian border, giving us a little bit of snow in the northeast and a little bit of rain as we get just north of Washington. A little bit of rain and snow up across the Dakotas into Canada, but other than that, very, very quiet. And as we take a look at our national temperatures, again, you can see just how warm it is across pretty much all of the country. Uh, everywhere from Phoenix down to Miami. Caribou is a little cold, but New York, Toronto, Norfolk, I mean, you guys are in the 30s, 40s, 50s. Even in Minneapolis where you're in the 30s, compared to where we should be at this time of year, that's so much warmer than uh, compared to average. And as we take a look around each region of the U.S., starting in the Midwest, uh, again, as you, you can really see where that divide is between the warm air that's getting pulled up from the south and the cold air that's trying to hang tight uh, across the northern tier of the country, but still, 37 Minneapolis, 35 Green Bay, that's a lot warmer than where we're supposed to be at this time of year for those areas. 57 in Des Moines, 70 as you get down into Kansas City and Hayes. It's very, very warm. And then as we slide over to the northeast and take a look over there, again, your cold spot's going to be Montreal, Caribou, you know, you're in 16, 17. But as you get further south, 36 Boston, 37 Albany, 37 Buffalo, uh, you know, 50 down in Washington, D.C., still pretty warm across uh, much of the northeast. And taking a look at the southeast, very, very warm still. Uh, 60 in Atlanta, 63 in Montgomery. Your warm spot's going to be down in Miami, no surprise there, 75. Really beautiful weather for this time of year. And then taking a look across the southwest, uh, very warm across the Rockies, uh, six, 50s and 60s, uh, 70, 70s as you get out towards Reno, Bakersfield, Los Angeles. 82 is going to be a warm spot down in Phoenix. It's probably, knowing Phoenix, it's a dry heat, but still 82 for the 1st of March, that is very, very warm. And then taking a look across the northeast, same deal. Uh, as you get up into the higher elevations of the Rockies, it's going to be a little cooler. Idaho Falls, you're in the 30s. Casper, you're in the 40s. Uh, but still, just very warm, much warmer, much warmer than where we normally are at this time of year. And as we take a look at our future cast, starting for tonight, it's very quiet. Again, you've got the little bit of rain and snow up in the northeast that we that I mentioned earlier, and a couple scattered snow showers or showers across the northern tier. But as we take a look through the uh, night tonight into the morning tomorrow, watch up by Portland and Seattle. You guys are going to be getting a, a nice atmospheric river coming in from the Pacific Ocean. It's going to be giving you guys a lot of rain over the next couple of days. Again, still raining as you get into uh, Wednesday at 5.30. And then a uh, little bit of uh, rain and a little bit of snow might develop across the Dakotas down into Iowa, but overall it won't be a huge system. Uh, the areas impacted by it might pick up a an inch or two, maybe a couple of inches most, but won't be anything major. But then as we get towards the end of the week, Thursday into Friday, pay attention if you're off the southern coast of California. Uh, you guys are going to have a low-pressure system coming on shore that's going to give you guys some rain, and that's going to move off into the Rockies as we get into Friday and will be impacting parts of the country as we get into the weekend. And taking a look at the week ahead in our city of interest, Memphis, Tennessee, uh, it's going to be very warm. You guys are going to be pushing 80 on Sunday. It's going to be just beautiful weather to go out, have fun, enjoy it. Uh, a little bit of a cool-off as we get towards the beginning of next week, but as we look towards Sunday, uh, before that cold front comes through and cools things off, we're looking at the possibility for some storms, possibly some severe storms. And then as we go and take a look more, uh, a little closer to home, taking a look at our Iowa weather, starting off looking at our temperatures right now, it's very, very warm. Uh, 50s as you get towards uh, basically south of Des Moines, Sioux City, you're 53, uh, 64 in Council Bluffs, very warm there. And then as you get further north up, further to the northern parts of the state, uh, 33 Mason City, 36 Spencer, 37 Decor. It's a little cooler up there, but still not bad compared to where uh, we could be and ought to be for this time of year. And as we take a look at our satellite and radar for this evening, 
beautiful skies. It's clear. You might get an occasional sprinkle or flurry up in the northwest or northeast part of the state, but really, other than that, nothing to, nothing of note. Very very quiet night. As we take a look at our future cast, uh, we get into tomorrow night. It's going to be a uh, couple passing clouds, but it's going to be very warm, very sunny tomorrow. Great day to go out. Uh, make sure you enjoy it. You know, go out, take the kids to the park, take the dog for a walk. As we get into Thursday morning, it's going to be a little cooler on Thursday. We're, there's a possibility of some snow moving in as we get into Thursday morning, but it should move through pretty quick. Uh, accumulations will be minimal to none. And then as we go through the day Thursday, it'll be a little cooler but and cloudy, but it should clear out and turn off turn out to be a nice day, all things considered. And then Friday, again, just some sun sun and clouds mixed, nothing you know too crazy. Uh, but then as we uh, go back to look at the forecast for tonight, 33 degrees and a little breezy, northwest wind 20 to 25 miles an hour. Uh, but still, again, not a terrible night for March 1st in Ames, Iowa. And as we take a look at our forecast for tomorrow, again, it's going to be a beautiful day. Personally, I think 63 is a little on the cool side. I think we're going to be closer to 65, maybe 68. Parts, uh, areas south of here will be pushing 70. It's going to be a beautiful day. Make sure you go out and enjoy it. And taking a look at the headlines for the week ahead, it's going to be warm. It's going to be dry, as you guys have seen already. But then as we take a look towards this weekend, you guys are going to want to keep an eye out for the possibility of some severe weather, and I'll get to that in a little bit. But taking a look at our lows for tonight across the state, 20s and 30s across the board, uh, warmer as you get down to the southern part of the state where it's going to be in the upper 30s, and then upper 20s, 29 Mason City is going to be your cool spot, 30 in Decorah. Uh, but overall, it's going to be a great night if you want to go out for a run this evening uh, or you know, go out and enjoy it. It's going to be nice. And then taking a look at our highs for tomorrow, same deal. Uh, as you get to the northern part of the state, it's going to be a little cooler. You're going to be in the 40s, lower 50s in Decorah, Mason City, Spencer. As we get, it's going to be a pretty sharp temperature gradient as we move north to south across the state, though, because look at that. Council Bluff, 71. Creston, 70. It's going to be very warm. Uh, then Ames, Des Moines, mid-60s. Uh, Cedar Rapids, 58. It's going to be a great day across the state tomorrow. You guys make sure you go out and enjoy it. And taking a look at where we're going to be tomorrow compared to where we should be for this time of year. Again, I think 63 is a little cool. I think we're going to get warmer tomorrow. I'm thinking 65 or warmer, but... No matter, you know, that two degrees, no matter how you look at it, we are so much warmer compared to where we should be for this time of year. Normally, we're still not above 40 for our high temperatures, so much, much warmer than where we normally are. It's going to be a great day. And as we take a look at our highs a little closer in across each region of the state, again, northeast region, it's going to be cooler, 40s and 50s generally, 42 is your cool spot up in Cresco. Uh, but then as we go down to the southeast corner of the state, much warmer. And uh, look at the temperature difference, 56 in Monticello, all the way down to 69, almost 70 down there in Centerville. So it's going to be a sharp temperature gradient as you move north to south across the state. But really, all, of, all in all, no matter how you look at it, it's going to be a nice day no matter where you are. Uh, then the southwest part of the state, that's going to be where your warmest area is tomorrow, 75 in Shenandoah. That's amazing. Uh, really, really warm. 63 up here in Ames. And then, generally speaking, mid to upper 60s into the uh, lower to mid 70s across the area. And then taking a look up into our northwest part of the state. Again, like the northeast side, the farther north you get, the cooler it's going to get. And it's going to cool off pretty quickly. 40s and uh, as you get across Forest City, Esterville, Okoboji. But then uh, 60s and over at Sioux City, you're going to be our warm spot here at 67. And taking another look at the week ahead, I know I've already kind of shown you guys this graphic, but we'll have some snow moving through on Thursday, and then it kind of gets quiet for the rest of the week. But I want you guys to pay attention to Saturday. We start Saturday morning off. We're going to have a low pressure system coming through. It's going to give us an initial shot of rain and unsettled weather. Uh, there's going to be some thunderstorms embedded in this. And as we go through the day on Saturday, uh, it's going to increase in coverage. And it's going. we're going to have a lot of, a lot of uh, thunderstorm potential. And you guys are wanting to stay vigilant, keep an eye out, especially the southern half of the state. There's the possibility of some severe weather. It's still a ways out. A lot could change. But for right now, it's just something to keep an eye on and something to be aware of as we head into the weekend. And then as we head, it'll move out pretty quick as we head into the night on Saturday and in through the day on Sunday. There might be some lingering snow showers as we have some colder air moving in behind it. Uh, but overall, I'm not expecting a, I'm not expecting a blizzard behind this uh, severe weather system. As we take a look at the week ahead here, uh, again, it's going to be beautiful weather tomorrow. It's going to cool off a little bit on Thursday, but it's going to bounce right back up into the 50s on Friday. Saturday, you're going to want to watch for storms, and then it's going to, we're looking at a bit of a cool off as we head into the beginning of next week. 
And that is all for this edition of Size Eyes on the Skies. A little bit of a uh, non-traditional version, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter. You can find all our all of our videos on YouTube. And I hope you guys have a great night. We'll see you later.